Somebody did it. He got his name. W-I-G-T-V. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Wig TV. Hey, I feel about that you know what i'm saying uh we got jay prince though jay prince he finally responded to whack 100 is what the title of the video say i'm gonna get into it real quick and then we gonna bust down yo what's up chats y'all know what time it is so today we got jay prince on the roster man so he went on twitter to respond to everything that whack 100 has been saying about him on these podcasts so jay prince says when a hater doesn't like you, they team up with other haters who don't like you. And before you know it, there is a slew of haters who hate you. But here's the thing. Those haters don't even like each other. They only gather because of you. See how powerful you are? So he's responding to what Y. Conji was saying about um, he's not the one who protected Cardi B when she was in LA and she was scared to go perform. So this is the original post from WAC 100 um, when he was saying that nigga line we covered for Cardi B that weekend she's a damu and we kept her straight. She had 100 blood with her all weekend on top of her management team. J Prince you're all cap. So J Prince was responding to him and saying WAC 100 is a hater. He's just running his mouth. He's just gathering with other haters to come at him. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, man, Jay Prince and... Yeah, you know, the cold part about it is I was under the impression that she was uh, being facilitated by some L.A. cats. Not WAC 100, per se, in particular, right? But, uh, yeah, I was under the impression that some L.A. cats were chaperoning her, uh, chaperoning her around that weekend. So, uh, I don't know, that just kind of, like, caught my attention when... Uh, when Jay Prince was saying everything he was saying. But yeah, man, we got Jay Prince responding back to WAC 100. Uh, Bosco and WAC 100 didn't end up getting back into it. It's looking like WAC didn't really, you know, he he, <laughs> he tried to take the homie advice for a couple seconds, a couple days, a couple hours. I don't know how fast it was. He got back on that, but he back on that. This responded. It's going to go viral. <clears throat> the response is going to go viral. You know, I'm going to say all kind of I know your response but, is hey, off the hook. Hey, Wack, did you did you catch how? He, now you just told us the whole little story with Cardi B. You didn't throw in no details. You just kind of said we was no, going to make sure no, everything what was I cool. Did, no, what I did was somebody said something. I'm like, yeah, what well, Cardi? Said, yeah, but but you I'm knew like, right yeah. off the bat. But here's yeah. the thing: you didn't you didn't throw in no. You notice how he threw in what she said that started the beef, almost like he trying to restart it. You know what I'm saying? No, exactly. Yeah, cause I'm gonna tell you, you what you, she did. I'm gonna make y'all remember. She put up a picture. It was like a blue dress or a blue fur, fur or something, and she was like, "That's hard." But I don't wear flu, which is a disrespect to exactly. blue. Exactly. Big disrespect. Exactly. Right. That's where it was. Right. So everybody was, you know, leaving comments at the time. She managed by QC by P. P got management. Right. So. Um. They like, yeah, whack that label just want us to kind of like, I'm like, man, that, come out, right? I said, I'm going to call Big U. We're going to clear it on that side. Me and Big U running tough at the time, right? I'm going to clear it on that side. We're going to put the homies on you on this side. I kind of do remember that. You know what I'm saying? I kind of do Big U and Whack 100 coming in the collaboration together to facilitate some type of protection for Cardi B when she was, uh, you know, when she had made the statement she made and what have you. But yeah, man, that's whack. And, and Jay Prince, they going back and forth, nigga, to this day. To this day, you feel me? And uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know where this shit going to go. We got a lot of people reaching out, though, like on behalf of Jay Prince and them. And like, you know, what y'all think? How y'all think this shit going to turn out with whack? And whack has been very disrespectful in these last couple of days, like to the Prince family. And, and, and nigga, it's like, it, it, dude. 
either way it go, right? It's split 50-50 to me. Like, you got some supporters that's on not necessarily wax side, but offset and amigo side, right? <clears throat> well, offset side, kind of, because, like, Quavo, he seems to be, it's kind of, like, still up in the air with Quavo. He seems to be um, locked in in some fashion with Jay Prince and them, because the way Jay Prince was talking on Million Dollars Worth of Game, like, he was just so sure that Quavo was going to come out and back everything he was saying leads me to believe that Quavo is still in some type of communication with them, and it ain't it ain't all bad, you feel me? Like, he probably, it, it, a little bit to me, I don't mean to jump the gun, but it seemed like Quavo is realizing that the situation, it, it, it spiraled out of control a little bit because of him, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, like, he kind of like, it seemed like he kind of like accepting fault a little bit without really saying nothing because he not coming out, nigga, and speaking up for Offset or, like, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, maybe they trying to use the element of surprise. It definitely was a trip to see Blueface in the club with Jay, right? But then again, Blueface is his own entity, nigga, just because Wack is managing him. Wack is, uh, uh, Blueface is a whole grown-ass man, nigga, from a whole uh, grown-ass gang. You know what I'm saying? He got his own peoples and... That shit is what that is. Like, I don't know, man. Like, Blueface and, and uh, Wack relationship been, been, like, a little strange, S you know, since the beginning, I would say. Or since, like, shortly after the beginning, shortly after they got together, shit was a little rocky. Or you could sense it was some type of, like, tension or some type of weird vibes going on with their relationship, right? And Wack, nigga... You know how he be, man. Nigga be, <laughs> nigga be having his leverage on niggas. If you understand me, whatever leverage it is, whether it's a tape or a contract, nigga, he got you. But yeah, y'all let me say ho, say ho. You can't be playing with that paper, ho. Nigga need that yay, but need it now and not later, ho. Say ho. You can't be playing with that paper, ho. Nigga need that yay, but need it now and not later, ho. Say ho. You can't be playing with that paper, ho. Nigga need that yay, but need it now and not later, ho. Say ho. Yeah, but you can fucking be my waiter, hoe. 